What is going on guys, I'm MKC Technology and welcome to another tech video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about what are the parts needed in order to make a Plex Media Server. Alright, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on any suggestion that you want to see in any upcoming videos. And in addition to that, all of the links to my social media is in the description box down below. If you guys want to support the channel, please go ahead and click on the PayPal link down below. And all the parts in this video will be linked in the description box down below with the Amazon affiliate link. So please go ahead and check those out if you guys want to. Uh, with that being said, let's get on with the video. Now, here are the parts needed in order to make a Plex Media Server. My Plex Media Server is going to uh, cause two, it's going to have two purposes. Uh, the first purpose is to be a, a streaming PC for Twitch. And the secondary purpose is to be a Plex Media Server. All right, it's going to be running Windows 10. So that's how it gives me the ability to do, to, for it to have uh, two purposes. With one for Plex and the second for um, Twitch. So these are the parts, right? Now the processor I would go with is a AMD Athlon X4950. Um, I know it says AMD Ryzen 20, uh, AMD Ryzen 5 2600X. Um, that is because in PC Part Picker it states that it's not compatible with the motherboard. Uh, that you see here on screen and it, but it actually is though with a BIOS update now um, Now let me actually show you the F1 X4950 it is on the Bristol Bristol Ridge architecture It is an AM4 socket it, it normally runs from like 55 to 65 dollars, but it's currently out of stock. I think AMD stopped making these um, I am one out of the many other millions of people who probably have this processor. Um, it, but you can't, if you guys do have this, it'll be a great processor for you to use for Plex. And not only for Plex, but also for streaming on Twitch. Now, if you guys don't want the uh, F1 X4950, you can go with an, another APU. Uh, I believe the 3400G, uh, the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G, 3400G. Um, if you get that processor, it will knock it will knock you off uh, some a little bit for the price. It will, like the price will go down because you won't need a graphics card. Um, but I do prefer the a graphics card for hardware encoding. Uh, that's what I prefer it for. But the CPU that you can go with in this build is a AMD Ryzen 5 2600X. Now, for the motherboard, you can choose a ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard or any other variant of the B450 uh, chipset or B, uh, I mean X470 or X570 chipset. You can, you can cho choose any one of those chipsets, but keep in mind the higher like the higher in the line that you go for like the motherboard the uh more expensive this uh pc build is going to be so i actually already purchased some of these uh parts i already have the case i already have the power supply and i already have the f1 x4950 but um if you're gonna choose the F1 X4950, you're gonna want to uh, change the RAM out for uh, RAM uh, for of uh, speeds of 2133 to 2400 um, megahertz, or I believe it's in megahertz 2666 megahertz. Uh, I think that's the I think that's what it what it goes for. Um, other than that. Uh, if you're going to be choosing a Ryzen 5, um, Ryzen processors do like its speed when it comes to uh, RAM. So the higher the speed, the more performance you're going to get out of that processor. 
Now, I am choosing two NVMe drives from Sabrent, Sabrent Rocket. Now, the first NVMe drive is going to be where the operating system lives on. And the second um, NVMe drive is going to be a cache drive. Now, the reason I'm using a cache drive is because it's basically, basically going to uh, make these hard drives that I have in here uh, a lot faster when it comes to reading and writing data. Now, for those that don't know, there's actually a program called Primo Cache. I'll also leave a link in the description box down below for this program. You, there is a 30 day free trial after which you can extend it for another 30 days, 30 or 60 days. I think I think that's how long you can extend it after which you do have to buy the program. I, I went ahead and bought the program instead of uh, doing the 30 days or and then doing another 60 day extension after that. So I already have the program up and running. As you see here, I already have it set up. And okay, so I want a lot of storage space with my Plex Media server. So I went ahead and I got, I put in um, some Seagate Iron Wolf NAS drives. These are six terabytes each running at 7200 RPM. So these are gonna be running in RAID 0. Now RAID 0 is normally something that not a lot of people would go for because uh, once you lose any data, it's gone for good. Or once any data on the on these drives are corrupted, it's gone for good, it's gone for good running in RAID 0. Uh, for the graphics card, since I did say I want hardware encoding, um, although I don't believe you can do hardware encoding on an APU, I'm not sure. I've never tried it out as of yet. If you guys um, know, if you guys know that, um, and if you guys know an APU that does hardware encoding, uh, please let me know. Um, but the, for the graphics card, I'm using a RX 580 um, ROG Strix variant from ASUS. Now, the, I'm not going to be overclocking any of these uh, parts, um, but for the case, I do have, I already have a Fantex P300 ATX mid tower case, and for the power supply, I already have the, I already have a Roswell 550 watt 80 plus gold certified fully micro power supply. Now, I am going to be putting this uh, computer in my living room, so for that, since I know I don't have any Ethernet ports in my living room, I'm going to be using a Wi-Fi, uh, a PCIe Wi-Fi adapter. Now this is 802.11ax uh, 802 compatible. Now for those that don't know, 802.11ax is actually backwards compatible with 802.11ac, which means you can connect to any 802.11ac 802 router that you have in your house. Now, like I said, I will be leaving all the links in my description box down below for all of these parts. Uh, these will be Amazon affiliate links. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out all these parts, please go ahead and um, check them out. Now, by clicking on these links, it will also help out the channel uh, a lot. So please, 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 if you guys want to check these out and uh, buy these parts. So if you want to go ahead and build a Plex Media server, you can go ahead and do that, and I'll get a small kickback out of it. Okay. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see the build, or uh, if you guys want to see the Plex Media server that I have so far, please leave a comment in the description box down below. I'll try to make a short video about what I've done so far to. Uh, get the Plex Media Server uh, on its journey to being complete. Um, like I said, my Plex Media Server is going to have two purposes: one for Plex and the second for uh, Twitch. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. I ho really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and comment down below. And if you guys also want to support the channel, the link to my paypal is also in the description box down below so please uh please 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 support the channel all right that being said i'm mkc technology i'm out peace